When you pair world-class scientific research and the culinary arts, you have the ingredients for success that could reap a better economy and healthier citizens. In a dynamic, first-of-its-kind partnership, North Carolina State University at the North Carolina Research Campus in Kannapolis and Johnson & Wales University in Charlotte joined forces for the North Carolina Strawberry Project. Supported by a grant from the Golden Leaf Foundation, the project was designed to help grow the state's agricultural industry, strengthen the strawberry sector, and involve consumers in the process. The project also put the spotlight on North Carolina State's Plants for Human Health Institute at the North Carolina Research Campus. The research component focused on Dr. Jeremy Pattison's work to breed a better North Carolina strawberry. Dr. Pattison teamed up with Chef Mark Allison, Dean of Culinary Education at Johnson & Wales. This project brought together both to complete the research to farm to fork circle. This is a really exciting new partnership that we've developed and we think it's very unique in plant breeding in that we're bringing in the culinary industry into helping us define what is exceptional in terms of fruit quality. And really the overall goal is to marry high quality with all of our agronomic traits that keep our growers profitable. At Johnson & Wales we teach our students to source the best quality in all products. So working as a team with NC State, the local farmers and Johnson & Wales students, hopefully we'll get the taste right and it'll be a fabulous strawberry. North Carolina ranks fourth in the nation in strawberry production which adds nearly 21 million dollars to the state's economy each year. Through a sensory analysis process 20 genotypes of strawberries were studied. In addition, consumers, chefs, and produce buyers were part of focus groups and surveys that provided valuable consumer information. This gave Dr. Pattison important information on flavor, color, texture, and size that he will incorporate into his breeding program. So with plant breeding, what, what our ultimate goal is, right, is to create a better plant. We define what better is, and we go ahead and implement strategies to do that. And in strawberries, they're a cross-pollinated crop, and so we use traditional breeding methods to take pollen from one parent and place it on to flowers of another parent to hope for that recombination of beneficial attributes from both parents. And it provides us with some opportunities to see uh, a harvest season that can go from four weeks potentially to four months. The Strawberry Project appealed to the Golden Leaf Foundation board and staff on, on three counts. One, it takes advantage of a, one of our leading crop strawberries on how to add value and make sure we uh, take advantage of our other resource, the Johnson & Wales uh, staff and leadership in Charlotte, where they know what these high-end consumers want and will pay a premium for to three of our North Carolina farmers working with NC State, the research campus in Kannapolis and here at the research station in Salisbury have some of the leading work going on on strawberry breeding. That's going to make more money for our farmers, more opportunity for local restaurateurs uh, by taking advantage of all these great North Carolina partners. Members of the Golden Leaf Foundation joined North Carolina Agriculture Commissioner Steve Troxler and Johnson & Wales faculty on a tour of Barbie Farms outside of Charlotte. They also visited the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services Piedmont Research Station in Salisbury. The partnership between Johnson Wheels, NC State, and Piedmont Research Station is, a, is pretty unique, and I think it's a wonderful way to approach marketing. If you know what the consumer really wants to begin with and then can direct the research toward the, uh, the, end, con the end user of the product, getting what they want, then uh, you know, that's a, a very good way to approach marketing. Chef Paul Malcolm, an assistant <laughs> professor with Johnson & Wales, is an advocate for supporting local farmers, and he believes this unique partnership will result in better chefs. I think that all too often we forget that food doesn't come from a box. It really comes from people investing a tremendous amount of time and energy into loving and, and, and having passion for the growing of the fruits and vegetables and then sharing that with, with learning how to use that for cooking. I hope to take back to the classroom uh, from our visit out here on Barbie Farms a uh, deeper understanding of where our food comes from uh, and the differences between quality product and distribution channel product. During a visit to Barbie Farms and the father-son team of Brent and Tommy Barbie, the Johnson and Wales chef faculty learned about the passion many North Carolina farmers have to produce the best food possible. Barbie Farms was a great experience. 
he was so passionate about what he what he does, what his family has done over generations, um, what they're currently doing, and then what he sees for the future. And I think that's really important for our students to understand that. I've spent 25 years in the industry, and having never really gone to a farm and see how things are grown, and and really just receiving product through the back door and and pushing it out out to the customer, I never really kind of understood how things were grown and how things are managed in that side of the of the uh, of the business so it, it's really a neat way to kind of bridge the gap between the back door and and the customer the production of food is the most basic human activity there is it is the foundation of civilization and I think our modern society we've gotten away from that and many of our students do not understand where food comes from how it's grown and the personal sacrifice and the dedication and the love that goes into farming when they come to the research station, they can see what is application of scholarship and research in the field and how it makes a difference in people's lives. After the Johnson & Wales faculty visited a local farm in the Piedmont Research Station, students had their turn at the on-farm experience. About 50 Johnson & Wales students in their Chef Whites traveled to Barbie Farms, and seeing firsthand where food production starts proved to be eye-opening for them all. And I think every student should have the opportunity to come out here and get to be able to experience this because it's something that's once in a lifetime if you don't have the resources to do it. I would say local foods have a lot more, uh, it's more quality oriented. And um, I, as a chef, I, I enjoy the taste a lot more. There's no doubt that when the students return to the impressive kitchen laboratories at Johnson & Wales, their creative juices were flowing. In a series of strawberry cook-off competitions, they put their skills to the test. The criteria was that recipes needed to be unique and healthy, with a prep time of no more than 30 minutes, a recipe any home cook would want to try. The results of the competitions were inspirational for anyone buying local strawberries. In addition, the recipes and other project materials were shared with strawberry growers across the state at the Southeast Strawberry Expo. And this unique partnership between NC State, the Plants for Human Health Institute, at the North Carolina Research Campus in Kannapolis, combined with Johnson & Wales University here in Charlotte, makes it unique because of the fusion of all the disciplines that are involved. I don't think there's ever been that combination put in place anywhere at any time. Another important dimension of the project was a marketing outreach effort to raise awareness of the partnership and to encourage North Carolinians to buy strawberries from local farmers. The support from the Golden Leaf Foundation for the NC Strawberry Project has made a big difference. With their support, we have initiated an educational marketing outreach campaign to reach the public across the state. Local, regional, and even national newspapers and magazines featured the Strawberry Project. Project coordinators and Johnson & Wales students participated in radio and television interviews in the Charlotte, Greensboro, and Raleigh markets and the project was highlighted both online and on radio stations in all markets from the coast to the mountains. The North Carolina Strawberry Project, a partnership of North Carolina State University at the North Carolina Research Campus and Johnson Wales University, is working to breed a better North Carolina strawberry. The North Carolina Strawberry Project is supported by the Golden Leaf Foundation. Marketing research conducted as part of this project confirmed that the combination of a media campaign, consumer taste test, and cooperative extension outreach, including the produce lady, helped direct people to local farms. It's a win-win situation, not only for the students and the alumni, the local farmers and the researchers, a great team working together will produce outstanding results and hopefully we'll end up with a quality product. This comprehensive project can serve as a model for bringing together plant breeding research, the culinary world and marketing communications and extension to raise awareness about some of the exciting efforts underway to benefit our state's citizens and economy. For more information, visit the North Carolina State Plants for Human Health Institute website.